Hi, hello everyone. Uh, welcome back to my video. This is a video of part 2 pure bending. In this video, I will show you uh, one example of problems involving the beam under pure bending. So, now uh, let me read the question first. A 3 kN bending moment M is applied to the cantilever beam as shown in uh, figure A and B. Given the modulus of elasticity E of the beam material is 290 GPa, uh, determine the uh, question 1, the maximum stress and the radius of curvature of the beam in uh, uh, figure A. And then question 2, uh, determine the maximum stress and the radius of curvature of the beam in figure B. Okay, so now the question basically uh, asking to calculate uh, the uh, sigma maximum, okay, the maximum stress, okay, and also the radius of curvature which is rho. Okay, so now let's start with uh, question one. All right, so uh, I write here this is equation one and then we start with the sigma max okay sigma max so we know that the equation for sigma max is equal to uh, mc over i okay so for this case because uh, the moment is acting about the z axis so we can write here i z all right so first let's calculate what is the i z okay let's calculate what is the i z so i z is equal to okay so uh, how do they mean the iz so we can refer the equation uh, from the table okay so from the table so this is the uh, rectangular shape okay this is the one of the uh, simple shape of rectangle that i uh, pick from uh, the table that i shown in video one okay so if we compare these two uh, picture okay uh, picture from the question and also picture from the table so uh, we can say that the i z from the question actually is equivalent to the i uh, x prime from the table okay so if you can see here this is the uh, rectangle uh, rectangle of the uh, from the question and then this is the rectangle from the uh, table okay and then uh, the axis here is uh, i prime and uh, sorry x prime so this axis is uh, z so so means that uh, the i z uh, from the uh, equation is equivalent to the i x prime from the from the table okay so therefore uh, we can calculate the iz based on the equation for ix prime from the table so which is equal to here okay so iz is equal to uh, 1 over 12 so b h power of 3 okay so we substitute the value of b and h what is the b b is the base of the rectangle and h is the height of the rectangle so we substitute the value of b and h so we can get the value of iz which is equal to 1 over 12 so b equal to 0 0.09 and then uh, h equal to uh, 0.15 power of 3 so now we get the iz is equal to uh, 2.5313 times 10 to the power of minus 5 meter power 4. Okay, so now we substitute the uh, value of i z into the uh, flexural formula so, so that we can get the sigma max. Okay, so therefore sigma max is equal to m equal to 30 exponent 3. So c is equal to what is the c? So if we have uh, rectangle okay rectangle and then uh, because of because the cross section 
uh, area of the beam is symmetry so the neutral axis uh, will lie uh, at the center okay at the center of the beam okay uh, the center of the uh, cross section area of the beam okay so the c is measured from the neutral axis to the top surface or uh, neutral axis to the bottom surface okay so for this case uh, both c have uh, equal value okay they have has a, the same value so we can uh, choose either one okay so the c for this case is equal to basically is equal to h over 2 which is equal to 0 0.15 uh, divided by 2 and then divided by i so i is 2.5313 10 minus 5 okay and then using the calculator we can calculate the sigma max okay sigma max is equal to 88.89 mega pascal okay so now let's go to uh, the next question which is what is the radius of curvature so rho okay so previously i already shown in video 1 we have the curvature equation which is equal to 1 over, one over which is 1 over rho equal to uh, m over ei so because the question asking to calculate the radius of curvature which is rho so we we can uh, rearrange the equation become rho equal to ei over uh, m okay so we substitute the value of e 290 exponent 9 and then the value of i okay 2.5313 exponent minus 5 and then divided by uh, m is 30 exponent uh, 3 so rho we get the value of rho is 244.7 meter okay so that is the uh, radius of curvature now let's go to the next uh, question Question two, okay. So same same thing here. Uh, we have to calculate what is the sigma max and also the radius of curvature. Okay. So uh, same equation, sigma max is equal to the mc over i. So for this case, because the uh, moment is acting about y axis, so we put i y. Okay. So what is the equation for iy so we have to compare between the axis from the uh, equation okay and also the axis from the uh, table okay so for this case the the y axis okay y axis is basically is equivalent to y prime okay so for i y okay so we can determine using the i y prime from the uh, table okay so from here we calculate we can calculate the i y which is is equal to uh, this one oh sorry uh, this one okay so i y equal to 1 over 12 okay b power of 3 h okay so substitute the value of b and h 1 over 12 so b equal to uh, 0 0.09 power of 3 and h equal to 0 0.15 okay so from here i y is equal to okay you can use your calculator and then i y is 9.1125 times 10 minus 6 m power of 4 okay so now uh, applying the fractural formula so sigma max is equal to uh, 30 exponent 3 okay times c so what is the c so for this case because okay so you have rectangular okay so for this case because uh, the bending moment is acting about y uh, axis so this will be your uh, neutral axis this will be the neutral axis and c is measured from the neutral axis to uh, the free surface here okay so that is the c or uh, similar 
value okay or you can also use the c from here so both c uh, give the same value so c basically is equal to uh, b over 2 okay b over 2 so for this case is 0 0.09 divided by 2 okay remember this one basically is b over 2 okay so divided by iy iy is equal to 9.1125 times 10 minus 6 so sigma max therefore sigma max is equal to uh, 148.15 megapascal okay so now what is the radius of curvature so radius of curvature is rho okay is equal to sorry rho is equal to uh, ei over m so rho is equal to 290 exponent 9 time i so i is 9.1125 10 minus 6 okay divided by uh, 30 exponent 3 therefore the rho or radius of curvature is equal to 88.1 meter all right so we are done for both question, question 1 and question 2. So that's all. Thank you.